Games. Are you sick of playing games in dating? Are you sick of feeling like you have to play games? Do you want all that gone, but you still want to generate interest with the guys that you like? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Real simple concept that you're going to be able to use for the rest of your life to generate attraction. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book. I actually talk about this concept on page 202 for a number of pages there. It's a great book, Beating the Odds of Modern Dating. Grab a copy from the description and I'll see you right after this. So a woman came to me recently, she said, Mark, I've met this guy, I really like him, things are going well, I want to keep him chasing. I want to keep his interest, but I don't want to go back to the old games that I used to play. I used to have to pretend I wasn't interested, slow text, act all coy, be mean, treat him, treat him mean to keep him keen, I had to do all of this, and I'm sick of it. I don't want to go back to doing that. And I said, great, you're my type of person. But how do you then do that? How can you make sure that someone stays interested and how can you do it in a way that's sustainable? Right? The problem with all these games is what do you do after five days or 50 days when you actually like the person? Do you keep treating them mean and playing coy or how does that work? Eventually the guy is going to figure out how insecure you are and he's going to lose interest. So you need something that is sustainable. That's not sustainable. He's lingering. Cheeky garbage truck. So you need something that's sustainable. You need to build attraction in a sustainable way. Uh, but why do we even get tempted into these games? Unfortunately, it's built into us. Human psychology requires challenge. If something doesn't challenge us, we don't value it. That's, that's the law of humans. If something comes too easily, we assume that it must be lower value. Anything that's difficult must have challenge and therefore value. So the question becomes, how do you create this challenge? As we've said, you can play games, but how's that going for you? How good does that feel? Probably not great on either front. So how do you build that challenge without any games? There's actually a very simple way to do it. You can use it for the rest of your life. Men will stay attracted when you do it and you'll consistently challenge them in a way that makes them respect you. The answer is boundaries. And I don't necessarily mean boundaries with the guy. Now boundaries with the guy are important. All right, if he's showing up late for dates, put a boundary around that, speak up. If he's calling you when he said he'll text, sorry, other way around. If he's texting you when he said he'll call, put a boundary around that, speak up. If he's getting lazy on dates, if he just wants sleepovers instead of dates, you put a boundary around that, put a boundary around all that stuff. Incredibly important. But what I'm talking about here is the boundaries you have with yourself. The boundaries that really keep someone chasing without any games at all, are boundaries like. Let's say, for example, you're feeling really good seeing him and you want to see him four times a week because it's just things are going so well. But you know what's good for you in the long term is to see him maybe twice a week in the short term. Start things slowly. When you put a boundary around your time, not because you're playing games, but because you value your long-term health and you value the long-term stability of your life, your relationship, you create a natural challenge with that boundary that men are going to love. Now, these boundaries with yourself don't just operate in regards to men. This is with anything. Right? Think about fast food. Think about excess unsafe sex. When you don't have these boundaries with yourself, you tend to get into trouble. Right? Too much unsafe sex, that can get you into trouble. Uh, too much eating junk food, that can get you into trouble. Too much skip in the gym, that can get you into trouble. Let's say you have an important work, uh, self-education, professional education that you have to do for your work. And you think, oh, I could do it next week or I could do it the week after. But you put a boundary around that, you prioritize that, and you do it on Wednesday night instead of seeing him. Or let's say that you're out with your friends or you go out on a girl's night and you decide, you know what, I really, really do want to text him. That would feel amazing. But for right now, I'm just going to put my phone on airplane mode or put it in my purse, and I'm just gonna focus on my friends. The boundaries you have with yourself are the ones men are listening for. These are the boundaries. These are healthy boundaries that are gonna have you living a great life, and when you have these healthy boundaries, you never, ever need to worry about playing any games again. So men are listening for these boundaries. And the best thing about these boundaries is when you have them, you become naturally challenging. 
right? You naturally challenge a guy throughout his time getting to know you. In fact, I wrote a bunch of pages in the book about this. There's like 20, 30 pages in the book about being naturally challenging. When you have these natural boundaries, you become challenging to men and you can do it in a way that means you don't have to play any games and they continue to chase you. So what I really want you to take away from this, games, boundaries. If you want a guy's respect, if you want a man to chase you, choose one. If you have a question, I would like to hear it. So all questions, I don't know if you've noticed, we're collaborating or bringing together a whole bunch of questions, putting them in the Ask Mark videos. So you can comment in the space below, leave your question and I'll answer it in the Ask Mark video. I'll get through as many as I can, hashtag Ask Mark in the question section, put it in the comment section below and uh, I'll answer it as best I can in an Ask Mark. Hit the subscribe button with the little bell as well and grab a copy of my book, Beating the Odds of Modern Dating. You can grab it from the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that simple concept and anytime you think about playing games in the future, just think boundaries instead. I'll see you in the next video very soon.